pun. Deadass. Deadass, though? Deadass. Calm down. We're live. Ass, ass, ass. Ass. <laughs> so, uh, what's going on, people? Active Sin here. We're back for Team Red Talks Nintendo. And yes, I'm aware oh, it is a Wednesday ass, and not ass, a ass, Tuesday because I had to work late. So, deal with it. So, we're here. And we're going to talk about a lot of shit that happened this week in Nintendo's world. And, of course, we got the, the normal Nintendo crew here. Myself, Nia, and Coupon. So, why don't you guys say hello. Hello. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, very polar opposite hellos. But, yes, let's start <laughs> with uh, Nintendo had a direct for ARMS back on the 17th. They showed a lot of shit. They opened Shit. a lot of people's eyes, and they gave a new waifu to the world. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about ARMS. Overall, I thought that Direct was incredible. Yes. Uh, they did. It's possibly the best one-off Direct for a single game they've ever done. It showed a lot of things that people were curious about. They showed three new characters. They showed a lot new elements to the games that give it more gameplay and more depth. Uh, it was just a great show, and even that little announcer guy was a lot less annoying this time. Uh, I thought it just overall was a good show, not good pacing, a lot of info, and uh, yeah, didn't drag on at all. What do you guys think of the the little trick they had? I think I think that uh, when it comes down to the like the Nintendo Directs, man, Nintendo is really like knocking it out of the park. I mean, like, the Nintendo Directs have always been pretty good, if, like, if they have actually, like, content to talk about. Right. But, like, I feel like the ones when there are, when they are focusing on just one game, especially, is when Definitely. the Nintendo Directs really shine. Like, they really go all out with the way that they present the topics and just how they present the information and um, considering that I'm already interested in ARMS, like, this just made it even better for me as far as the actual, like, presentation of it all. Um, are we talking about the information right now? Or are you going to go yeah, over well, that and then we can talk about the information? Okay. So, like, one of the things that, like, I was concerned about in relation to ARMS is, like, whether or not there was going to be multiple modes. Because even though I thought that just, like, the regular fighting looks fun, because I, like... I like Nintendo's weird, quirky stuff. That's just me, you know, as a Nintendo fan. I like when they do weird stuff. I know people are like, oh my God, Nintendo's always weird. And I'm just like, yes, Nintendo's always weird, right? Yeah. So um, <laughs> I like that kind of stuff. But like the fact that they are uh, taking this game to like other levels and like bringing some kind of different like modes and stuff is dope. Like, you know, of course, you know, they showed, uh, you know, you could do, of course, like the tag team mode, which we already knew about. So, like, me and Coupon can work some foods online, you know what I'm saying, um, <laughs> together. Um, you know, they also talked about the other modes they have. Like, they have, like, this volleyball mode, which looks dope. It's kind of like a game of keep away where you're trying to, like, put the volleyball on, on the other person's side. I think it's like a bomb, too, or something like that. Like, it's just some crazy stuff going on there. Um, you know, the one mode where you could, like, you, you, it's all about grabs, right? So you're, yeah. you're grabbing, and you're, like, dunking your opponent through a hoop, like, that's crazy. Um, they also have, like, this kind of, like, break the targets type of deal, skill shot, which I'm not really too interested in that. It looks kind of like whatever. I guess if, like, you're OCD and you're one of those kind of people who, like, break the targets and smash, oh, maybe you're like for my, Perfect for me, because I love that OCD shit. Yeah. And then, you know, they have, like, the one-on-100, -on -100, so you're defeating, like, 100 enemies in succession, kind of like a wave mode. I think that's kind of cool. That's pretty um, cool. And, you know, of course, they have just, like, their regular training mode and stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty pretty lit. Um, also, you know, they went into more detail. We, are, we already kind of knew a little bit about this, but they kind of went into more detail about the actual attributes of the different arms. Like, Yeah, this is what I thought I, was really cool. There, there's I, seven yeah. different attributes. Uh, mm -hmm. It's very similar to Pokemon. Fire, ice, all that shit. But there's fire, electricity, wind, ice, stun, explosion, and blind. Uh, so you can add these kind of extra elements to your strategy when you're fighting a game. And of course, fire will have an effect on water, shit like that. So yeah. just, just like Pokemon. So y you can play to your strengths what you like to do. So if you like to slow people down, you can use ice. Or if you like to have them stop for a minute, you can use something like stun. And right. they said it's always good to mix it up, like have a fire one and have an ice one, some shit like that. 
So yeah. that adds a lot of depth to the game. I thought that was a great idea yeah. they had. And I think that's like the best thing about this direct too is that they showed like just how much depth this game actually has. It's not just punching people. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I was worried yeah. about that myself if they were yeah, going to have more. I was a more. big fan of that uh, basketball mode where you have to dunk your opponent. Yeah. That, that yeah. shit is that hilarious. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's that gonna be fun to play. And, and they announced yeah. that they're gonna continue to give content to the game, which uh, is good throughout its lifespan. So it looks like it's gonna be one of those once per generation games, yeah. potentially. So like you're gonna keep getting new arenas, new characters, and uh, other content, probably costumes and shit. And it's all free. So yeah, it's, good, it's like good. the way they handled the original Splatoon, but this game's gonna drop with a lot of content up front. And they're gonna I love enjoy, that. which is awesome. That that's like what yeah. I wanted Splatoon to be like, but they went the other way, kinda of went bare bones and filled it out. This one is starting as a full game and they're gonna continue to give you more. Yeah. That's and that's awesome. what I love. That's what that's what I love. And that's what I, I really wanted to to know because like I didn't want it to be another Splatoon. Because you know, I was interested in another bare bones. Right. I didn't want it to be another Splatoon situation because right. that was really the like I was so upset when I figured out just how much content was gonna be released for, for Splatoon One, you know. <laughs> but they seem like they're like they're they bleh. they took what was wrong with the way that they launched Splatoon, mm -hmm. um, and they're trying to like kind of you know rectify their wrongs with yeah. Uh, yeah. arms. With arms yeah. So oh something else about you know like how you can get um like in game currency and yeah. like you can use that oh, currency yeah. to like get. Yeah, upgrade you can actually your upgrade your yeah. arms. So you if you know? have a duplicate, yeah. it boosts the stats of the card Which that's alike. That's cool. I love that. Good. Yeah. I like that. I love that. Yes. So like even, I mean, even, yeah. even if you end up with the same weapon, um, you, you don't get screwed over and think that you wasted your money on uh, right. the tokens, whatever they were called, because uh, you yep. actually get a more powerful version of your existing arm, and that's really cool. Because like, there's nothing worse. Than like using your currency to open a card yep. pack. I hate and that. You just get the same cards. You just get the same yeah, cards. Yeah. I hate so it. That's cool. Uh, I would imagine there will be a cap to how many times you can upgrade that existing arm, but yeah. at least it will right. get more powerful. Because yeah. there's no way you're gonna have one guy with like the same arm, but his does like 900 damage and yours does right. 100. But like right. maybe you'll be able to do 130 versus his hundred, something right. like that. One thing that we forgot to we completely glazed over is the fact that there's gonna be like this twenty player like I lobby, know. System, lobby system like what like was that? twenty <laughs> players like holy crap yeah, that's a lot of freaking people yeah it's gonna have ranked mode and then that grand pre where you just like you, I guess you're like kind of like in and punch out when you're like you know fighting all of the enemies and you're trying to get like the the title in the end and stuff so yeah. yeah. That that's cool, I guess. I mean, it, yeah. there's not really a whole lot here if you're like a single player type of person. This is definitely I mean, a multiplayer game. It's definitely a multiplayer yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you would think there would be a campaign though, because like, yeah, it could be. I mean, that's the campaign though. though. That's the campaign. What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the one to one hundred mode. Yeah, no, like, I don't the know. The ten, just... the ten straight matches in Grand Prix where you face the final yeah. opponent, like you know, like oh, yeah, punch yeah, that, that, yeah that, that one is. You know. That would be the single yeah. player mode. Yeah, that, it, it's a good way for you to learn yeah, the you controls can play that and get a feel for the game. Says. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I it heard says this mode is played locally with one or two players. Cool, perfect. I'm here for it. Here for it. Uh, party match is the one where you can play with twenty people. It says twenty players can potentially get together in the same lobby. Uh, one lobby can hold up to 10 systems, and each system can have two people on it, which makes 20. That's crazy. I don't really know how that would work, but I, I <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see. I guess it would be some sort of makeshift tournament mode. Yeah. yeah. Or like a King of the Hill type of thing. Yeah, so. I guess. Yeah. Uh, local wireless mode, uh, just like Splatoon and Mario Kart, you can connect eight switches together. And uh, eight people can be in their own room, or in the yeah. in the same room, gathered in one yeah. game lobby. So that's pretty cool. But obviously, all eight of you won't be fighting in like a battle royal, though. Yeah. Yeah. Because so, it's still yeah. gonna end up being like one versus one or two versus two. I would right. Imagine they weren't too clear yeah. on that. 
But uh, yeah. I don't think I think the min the most you can have on like one team is two. Yeah, that seems yeah. to be the limit of the the game. Yeah. Uh, did they say if you're playing two on two, is it still sixty frames per second, or does it jump down to thirty? I think it jumps down to four player local. Yeah, then it would be like one FPS if there's twenty people. <laughs> <laughs> like a. Uh, like I think it, it drops down to thirty when it's four. Yeah. But if it's like two, right. it's still sixty. Yeah, yeah. I think when you're playing one on one, of course, it's still sixty. Yeah, but when it's four people, that's that's I guess that's too much shit going on. Yeah. So yeah. definitely you can't have twenty. <laughs> uh, it says here, arms update in the future. Nintendo will release free software updates, which will give fighters stages and arms in game, which is what we were talking about earlier. So that's really mm -hmm. cool. Uh. It doesn't specifically say it's going to be the whole generation of the game. Like, they could right. potentially start charging for DLC packs later. But as yeah. of right now, all DLC is free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, the, the global test punch is actually this week. So on yeah. the 26th, which will be this Friday, uh, you can test out the arms for free. You can actually download it now, which I have done. And uh, there's... I think it's the whole weekend, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I, I believe it's the same thing like Splatoon does. You can only play yeah. one hour. Yeah, uh, that's You'll it. have to go to Nintendo's website to get the times. Uh, actually, I'll do that for you right now so you guys can see it. Because I can't remember the times. Because I know it's like one hour at a time, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Uh, let me go down to the... Oh, there she is. She's so magnificent. Uh, okay, uh, these are just the fighters. I want to see the times! Do you guys know the times? I don't know the times. Uh, I'm looking for them now. Uh, I'm on the ARMS website. Yeah, that's where I am. This, this site is very bright. Uh, where the fucking... 26th of May is going to be at 5 p.m. Um, PT, 6 p.m. MT, and 7 p.m. CT. Uh, tw 27th of May, it's going to be at 5... PT, 6 a.m., wow, these are 5 a.m. PT, 6 a.m. MT, and 7 a.m. CT, Ele then again at 11 a.m., 12 p.m., and 1 p.m., so, yeah, it's, then this is, like, for, this is North America times, and they got European times, so here's a, here, I'm gonna send you a copy of this thingy, okay. so you yeah, can kind of put it on your screen. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I found it and I put it on the screen. There you go. Paste. And there you go. It's in the thing. Okay, let me pop that up here. Alright, so here you go. What time is the ARMS Global Test Punch demo? So, in North America, May 26th, 5pm <laughs> Pacific Time, which is my time and Nick's time. Uh, 6 p.m. for how do, what's MDT Mediterranean that's, time? That's, that's, that's mountain. mountain time. Mountain time. 7 People don't live in mountain time. time. Central time. <laughs> and 8 p.m. is uh, Eastern. Eastern time. Yeah, so there you get one hour, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm. Okay, so on the I Saturday, guess. there's going to be several times to play. Three times, to be specific. Uh, if you want to wake up 5 a.m. on Saturday and play Splatoon <laughs> uh, on my time zone, you, you can, I suppose. Uh, but I will be more interested in the 11 a.m. one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> For you guys, the first one will be 7 a.m. That's not too bad. Uh, this time, Eastern. people can convert it themselves because this is going to take too much time. All right, I'll just do time my zones. time zone then. Uh, so 5 a.m., 11 a.m., and 5 p.m. And then on the 28th, there's 5 a.m. and 11 a.m. On the 2nd, so we actually had two weekends of arms. This is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, that one's going to be 5 p.m. On the 3rd is 5 a.m., 11 a.m., and 5 p.m., and on the 4th is 5 a.m. and 11 a.m. A lot of times. A lot of, that's actually better than... Lots Splatoon, of opportunities. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. lots of mm -hmm. opportunities. And, and to be honest, like, since this is a new IP, this is the smartest thing Nintendo they could have, have done. Is yeah. Yeah. Let yeah. People you have play to get it. this in people's hands. Like yeah, there's a arms, lot of people yeah. still on the fence about it, not sure about it. Plus, yeah. some yeah. people are curious about so, the like, controls as far as like that. So. IP, the best way to get people at ease with it is just yeah, let them play, let them try it. Yeah. That's the and then like arms is one of those kind of games like you can't just look at it and be like, oh, I think I know how it plays. Like you actually yeah. have to play this game. 
But yeah, there you so, go. A lot of time to try it out. Uh, it'll be starting this uh, this Friday. So yeah. make sure to test out some arms. It's free. You might as well. Yeah. Uh, then we got some... Before we, wait, before we move on from the arms topic, I just want to say that whenever you download arms, the arms global test punch thing yeah. on your Switch, it does verify that you can use other control methods for arms. So you don't have to use the Joy-Cons for motion. Yeah, you can so hopefully they so, so cool. yeah so hopefully they let us play without motion in the test punch yeah just I so we can like good. try it out because I mean it's on the little thing when you boot it up it's like hey yeah. it can also be played with blah 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 mm. yeah and man, I, I was just I like to give a... crush drone crusher on this fucking demo, man I can't <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, so we got some new characters, two of them are boring and worthless, and then there was one that was incredible and just, like, a fucking goddess. Uh, so let's get through the boring people first. Kid Cobra, some dork on a skateboard, and then, he's uh... He's a Beyblader. He's, he's like a fucking Beyblade kid, and he plays skateboard and has Cobra arms. I actually kinda like him, he's okay. I like his design. I kinda I like, like him, kid Cobra. Right. I'm sorry. And then there's the other person, Bite and Bark, which is a robot Fuck him. He's police a cheat. officer, he's a and cheat. he has yeah. his own little robot dog, which I love. I love that little yeah. robot dog, I, I think it. it's awesome. But he's definitely gonna be cheap, because the dog just does whatever it wants. Whenever I don't it wants. Know. So, I feel like there's gonna be something about Bite and Bark that's gonna make him like he's, not he's as good. He's definitely gonna be like Rosalina and Luma in Smash. Frustrating. <laughs> are, they, are they OP? Yeah. Well, they were They're for a annoying. while. I think they got nerfed. They though. have to get nerfed. Yeah. Uh, and then we have Twintel, the uh, the ultimate diva bayonetta knockoff character. Of uh, the, I think one of <laughs> two people in the game that actually has a. A legit set of arms. Uh, the other person is that That's one crazy. of the mech warrior thing. Yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, she's an A-list actress who uses her celebrity status to render her opponents utterly starstruck as she walks the red carpet to victory. So is you that, know how Bandita has actual, witch time. <laughs> uh, is that her actual description? That's what it says here. Yes. <laughs> uh, so you know how Bandita has her witch time. Uh, Twintel has her celebrity status which makes those little glowing things around her and then people just get starstruck and then she can avoid attacks in midair uh, is that real that's real like if you watch the trailer oh when she dodges in midair you'll see all this gold shit like butterflies float around her that's oh, straight wow. up bayonetta witch time shit that is awesome uh that's so crazy. she's easily the best character in the game without question uh so yeah that's the only reason to pick up this game is because of twintel um, that's the only reason I even got interested in this game, to be honest, because I wasn't, I didn't care at all before this. <laughs> the is too mesmerizing. He's not really good ass. Twin I would, uh, I would play the trailer, twin but tales. then Nintendo would, would, uh, copyright this, so I'm not gonna do it. So I'm not gonna play it, so I'll just leave some pictures up here for you guys to look at. It's funny. But, like, uh, it's what a, do you it's guys think of these new characters that got announced? I like, I, I like Kid Cobra and I like I, Twin Tails. Yeah. Fuck a damn bark and bite. I don't give a damn about him. He's a cheap ass character. He can kiss the donkey dicks. I don't care. I, I, I just have to say, I I love the art style of this game. Like I love the character designs. Like this is I'm like babes and butts now. <laughs> like when you think about like modern Nintendo. Arms is definitely that. Oh my yeah. god, Splatoon what? is definitely that. You know what I mean? Like, like Splat like Nintendo has always had like that quirky style. They like to use a lot of color. You know what I mean? Like they like to have like these whimsical designs in their characters. I don't. Um, I don't but, mean to cut you off real quick, but uh -huh. they already have all this art of Twintail. This oh, is there's retarded. There's a lot of art for her. That's so much of her. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a shit ton. <laughs> but like one thing that I that you can say like just like it's it's like a mixture of like that classic Nintendo feel with the colors the whimsy but then it's also like this modern like new age Nintendo as well like I can't really describe it but it's some it's so like fresh and new and because they're letting the young people make the new games 
I love it. I absolutely have, love they it. They should have been did this, but I'm glad that they're finally coming along yeah. and coming around and letting their younger yeah. the younger crew get on board. And I'd like to make a public service announcement, by the way. Thank you, Switch Force, for fucking it up for everyone. Oh, you God. Bitches. Don't do that shit. No goddamn more. Breaking yeah. embargoes and shit. Motherfuckers want to watch something and they want to be surprised about some shit. I ain't been online all damn day. Got online that one time just to load up my shit and hear the fuck it is in my private chat. Not your fault, Alex. I know, but it's just fuck you guys for that. Bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts, though. That's facts. But like, it shouldn't I think be breaking embargoes. Yeah. Not cool. Yeah, not not cool. Not cool at all. I hope Twin Tails. Fucking, I don't know. Damn, this one, she's a fucking stripper. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> oh, better skip that one. <laughs> you can tell that the Mario Kart team made this game. Yeah. yeah. This is like a really like good looking game. And like Mario Kart is freaking good. They gorgeous. were in charge of, yeah, they were in charge of an art I style. Think it's the same engine. Definitely. It, it has to be. Like, it's freaking gorgeous. So you're getting the game simply because of Twin Tails? No, I gotta play the demo first. Okay, you're gonna check you out the demo. If it's boring, I'm not gonna waste my time, but... I don't blame you. I don't, I don't blame you, yeah. Mm-mm. We'll see. I like her little logo now. Her, like, <laughs> yeah, logo. the twin This, this like, one has her own cute. graphic paper and they're tunes. finding the curve of her ass. This picture is oh. awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> twin tail is waifu for all the right reasons. Fuck it, right. Alright. <laughs> All right, well, let's move on from Twintel, even though that's going to be the highlight of the show today. Uh, But let's move on to something else that was leaked. One of the worst kept secrets in video games. We're not going to talk about the Splatoon trailer? Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. All right. Let's talk about the Splatoon 2 trailer uh, that aired right after the ARMS Direct. This was for the single player mode. Again, I would like to play it for you guys, but I can't because Nintendo will copyright this and I, I don't want that so they showed a splatoon trailer for the uh single player of the game it seems like callie i think it was callie was running yeah, a kimono. no that's marie was it marie i, I don't <laughs> it's care. i don't know the difference between uh, they're that. just I, two you're fine. two sisters to me so one of them it's was cool. staring off into the distance wearing a kimono uh longing for a uh, seemingly longing for her sister crying about the octarians and then your character pops up, and then uh, it, she is flabbergasted that you don't know who she is because she's a mega star. Uh, maybe Whatever. it's like in the future, and she's not a star anymore. I don't know. Post apocalyptic. Post apocalyptic. <laughs> but then they showed a lot of <laughs> gameplay for the for the single player campaign, and like I was impressed. Like everybody knows, I had a huge issues with Splatoon One single player because it's a glorified demo, it uh, is. glorified tutorial mode. This one looks a lot better. There's clearly more enemies more bosses there's uh more obstacles it looks like it's gonna be a lot harder this time around more stuff to do so i like that uh it seems like there is an an actual story that you're following because you're clearly gonna try and get the other squid sister maybe she's turned bad maybe you gotta save her who knows but it looks like they're gonna put more effort into it because like they obviously didn't put much effort into splatoon one single player and I yeah. think they got the I think they got the message from the fans that you want a actual campaign this time. So yeah, I'm happy. I wanted a, I wanted them to improve on it. It looks like they had, so I got no complaints about this. What about you guys? I mean, it's it's a. It was, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's boring. I'm not gonna. No, it was boring. You saw my reaction when I, when we did it. Y'all saw my reaction when we did it. This shit was boring. It's whack. But, I mean, it shows more stuff. It did show more stuff. It did show more. Um, you know, I do agree with what Alex said. It showed more things, and they did better. But it was yeah. just a boring ass fucking. You know, after seeing all of that from like for arms, and then seeing the Splatoon trailer, it's like what? That's like, it? It, that, it. That's what. Hard, that's how I it felt. Was, that was a hard act to follow, though. To be fair, a very hard act to follow when you get all of these awesome news, you see these dope characters, and then here you come with this like slow story trailer. You know, it's like whatever. Uh, um, okay. Uh, I, I agree with Coupon. I don't really care about the... Like, when it came down to the original Splatoon, I was one of those kind of people, like, I didn't care whether it had a story mode or not, if I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I don't mind online-only games. It's just, like, if it's going to be, like, an online-only game, it just has to have content. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has to have, su- like, content. substantial content. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care if it has a story mode or not, but, like, if that's all you do, do it well. You know? You feel me? 
So I didn't really care about that. So, but I do agree with you too, Alex, that the first Splatoon have a very underwhelming story mode. I didn't even finish the story mode because I didn't care that much about it at all. The last it was basically boss fight a was actually really good. I liked the last boss fight. That shit was annoying that as was fuck. The, like, the boss fights was, in that The boss fights good. in those games, yeah. in that game, was good. That that was, was what kept me going. Between the boss everything, fights. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's what See, kept me going. No, I, the I, I, liked the, I liked the boss battles. Like, you know, but I just... I didn't but care was, enough about the story mode to just keep going for it. It's just, forward. it was just like the I wasn't caring about the story to begin with. Like I played it simply because I just wanted to get a feel for the controls for the first right. for the most part. And then when I got to the boss battles, I was really enjoying the boss battles. So it was like tedious in between to get to the boss. I'm just like, oh, this fucking shit. I gotta go through this damn ass dumbass level. So I'm yeah. just trying to quickly go through the levels so I can get to the boss fights because yeah, they were actually much. quite epic. And then I get to the last boss and he's raping my ass, but I eventually fought past it and then the story's talking about something i was like well whatever and i turned off the game and went on about my business i didn't care like yeah well, i don't care about the, the way story I look but at the it boss is, battle was good. we're talking about a new ip well i still consider it new it's only had one game and yeah. it obviously has lore because there's mangas and shit about splatoon now yeah and there's a lot there? of stuff <laughs> they could make a story from and i just think it would be a waste of time for them not to do it like i, I think yeah. it's pointless for them not to have a story mode and just do multiplayer only because like it's nice having lore like i don't like online only shooters like i had a big problem with star wars battlefront being online only because that's a fucking Star Wars game, and you don't have a. Well, Star that's player. different because Star Wars is a very storied franchise that is based on you know the story elements, the characters, <laughs> how they interact with one another, like the themes and stuff that comes with that. Mm -hmm. Like but nobody cares Splatoon about doing that. nobody cares about these little inkling people who are the results of like some kind of weird apocalypse, like. Well, you, can get, you, can get, you can get lore in a game like Splatoon that's lighthearted and fun without it having like this crazy immersive story mode. That's my opinion, but I hear what you're saying as well. I don't know. I feel like when it comes down to Splatoon, it's like whatever. Like, I all, I, all I know is I play the game because it's fun to play. I could care less about the story. None of that shit matters to me. But more power to anybody who does enjoy the lore. Yeah. There is a story that they're following. Cool. Good. It has something for everyone. But I play it simply because, it's, you know, the online is fun to play. And I know most most people that I rock with are going to play it with me. So that's yeah. it. You know, it's cool. What else? That's, that's kind of how I am. I mean, I feel where Alex is coming from, too. I mean, you... Yeah, you, definitely. I just think if you make a to... multiplayer-only game, it's fucking lazy. And you shouldn't charge Yeah. Eh, I disagree. To it some degree. I feel to like it. Degree. I feel like, like it depends well, on the content. At least Lawbreakers is doing it right. That game is online only, and they're only charging forty dollars or thirty, whatever it is. I can give them credit for that. That's nice like, for them. That's, yeah. That's smart. Not not sixty dollars for half a game. But at least Splatoon two, they're trying to rectify that. It's seemingly yeah. anyway. So we'll see when that yeah. game comes out on July twenty first. <sighs> that is as long as close. it has like enough content to sustain the online part. I'm cool with that. Okay, whatever. Uh, so we will go on to the next thing. Uh, I'm done with this arm stuff. So we're going to talk about the worst kept secret in gaming, <laughs> and that was Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Trash. Finally confirmed by Ubisoft. And oh a lot of stuff got leaked. I think more than they wanted to get leaked. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I feel like uh, they leaked it. <laughs> I, they did that. I think when the first picture got leaked, I think they just fucking started throwing more shit out. Uh, cause at that point, what's the point anymore? Uh, so, here's a picture of the game. It's called Mario and Rabbids, what, what was it called? Uh, Kingdom Battle. Kingdom Battle. Uh, an epic roster, eight playable characters, but let's be honest, only, people only care about the Mario characters. Uh, with their own playstyles and personalities. There's a rabbit dressed up as Yoshi, and he <laughs> looks odd. His name is the crazy one. What uh, are you talking Peach about? She has this a gun. Cute. And uh, her name is now Badass oh, Princess. Mario with a gun now. <laughs> uh, uh, we all know who oh, wanted that. Yeah. But uh, Badass <laughs> Princess, so it looks like she's finally going to come into her own in this game outside of Smash Brothers, so that's cool. That's uh, okay. Always want to see Peach stand up for herself. Nothing wrong with that. And then we have uh, a rabbit dressed up as Luigi, and I don't know what he's holding, but he looks confused. Uh, his name is the Unstable One. And of course, we have Mario, the leader, wearing one of Mega Man's X-Busters uh, with a shark face on it, I guess. 
that one looks cool. I'll probably keep playing as Mario. And then we have the creepiest shit I've ever seen in my life. Uh, <laughs> a rabbit dressed up as Peach, and uh, she's taking a selfie, and she has a gun, and her name is hashtag... What is it? Baby... Gabby? I can't really see it. Or... I think it says hashtag baby, baby hashtag no filter. I didn't know that could be a name, but okay. And then we have Luigi, who has a uh, a really small gun, but apparently it's a sniper rifle because his name is Eagle Eye, and he looks really mad, like Mario Kart Eight mad. And then we have. <laughs> I a... would be too. I think I know why he's mad too. I'm mad he's too. He's mad because Daisy's not in here. <laughs> no, he's mad because he's dicking around with these fucking rabbits. I don't blame him. Oh man, poor guy. <laughs> Uh, and then we have the, the rabbit dressed up as Mario with a gun. His name is the Macho Man. And then we oh, have gee. the most amazing thing ever. We have Yoshi pissed off with a bazooka and his name's Explosive Head. I'm so happy. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Yoshi, lo Yoshi look legit. Yo, Yoshi I'm looks so lie. mad. I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> he looks so angry. Like, that's Kirby It looks right like there. the back of his gun is a banana. So I can only imagine this is some sort of Donkey Kong cannon. God, that's what it, it looks like a Donkey Kong barrel, and then the back half is like it seems like a banana to me. So I'm gonna assume he took this from Donkey Kong. Uh, this is apparently an RPG game. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna work. We haven't seen gameplay yet, but I'm um, I'm intrigued. Like, I don't like rabbits, but uh, if they're mixed with Mario, they can make something interesting happen at least. Uh, we'll have to see at E3 when we finally see gameplay of it. It says. The game is presented as an RPG <laughs> that mixes exploration and turn-based combat. The exploration is estimated at 35% of the game, with combat making up 65%. And that's good. And each of the four worlds are twisted Mario worlds filled with references. It could be fun. I don't know. It's an RPG game. Uh, with real, Not real-time, but uh, turn-based combat. Uh, I'd have to see. I would imagine it's going to be something similar to those South Park RPG games. Like Stick of Truth and the new ones that's coming out. It might be like that. Uh, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm not going to shit on this game until I've seen it in action. Like, I, I'm, just, I'm not going to shit on a new IP like that. It's not happening. Uh, exploration. You crap on so games all worlds. the time, though. Huh? You crap on games all the time. Not new games. Mm, I disagree. So, exploration is 35%. Stuff, we have say. four world environments to discover control of Tutorio, or whatever the fuck that is. Puzzles and secret zones. Twisted Mario world full of Easter eggs. I'm more interested in actually seeing the, the Easter eggs, because Ubisoft is really good at that stuff. Uh, I, I'm combat. just curious to see what more what what this game is gonna be. I, I'll give it a. Yeah. I'll give I think it. It's just gonna be like South Park, but with Mario and rabbits. Yeah, oh. it seems like that's gonna be a. But I don't even like that game, so I can't yeah, we'll possibly see. bring myself. Like, to I think it comes out in fall. They said so. <laughs> well, we'll see when it comes out. But right now, uh, rabbits. Like, well, I'm, I'm a little upset that they didn't do like so Mario you, you and Rayman. You can upgrade your weapons or collectible weapons. There's a. Uh, Tactical options like dash, team jumps, warp pipes, destructible covers, uh, seven enemies, and one boss, mid-boss per world. And there will be multiplayer co-op, so that's nice. But, sadly, it's local multiplayer. <sighs> I'm gonna be- I'm gonna keep it with you, Alex. Okay. Yeah, if this game. At first glance. This looks like hot garbage. Okay, and yet it will I feel like more than any Metro you know, game. You know, you keep saying that like it hurts me. That it doesn't does. hurt me. That doesn't change the fact that this <laughs> looks like garbage. Like this looks it's like gonna straight. Gonna be amazing. Trash. You have like, to like like keep if your mind like open. if no now if now if I see some gameplay, I am open minded enough to change my mind if the gameplay looks. This, dope, this okay? uh, Nintendo Switch has I'm a open slight enough, picture of gameplay. <laughs> I'm I'm open I'm open enough I'm open minded enough to not. No. To not write it off if I see gameplay. I don't know. It sounds like you're good. shitting on a game before we've seen it in action. That's all I'm saying. Because but uh, next all, picture you here. Do <laughs> you do it all the time. You do it all the time. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it looks like hot garbage. Okay, this looks like the equivalent of the Mario and Sonic Olympic games. No, team. that's not true. Like this, it looks dumb. <laughs> so game. if so if if this is if this is like a real like. People keep saying that it's a real thing, 
but it's like it hasn't really like people saying this is a reveal, but Ubisoft actually has a come big out ass April Fool's joke that just ran <laughs> on. <laughs> on, <laughs> on. <laughs> like, like, look, just think of it this no, way. No, no, no. Ubisoft... I'm looking at this article. I'm mm-hmm. looking at this article right now, okay? Yeah. It says the following image was provided by Ubisoft to comicbook.com. Really? You don't think this is real? It might be real, but like, like people this are. This has been leaked keep... for like six months at this point. But here's the thing: people are calling this a reveal, but Ubisoft hasn't come out and just hard body been like, "Yeah, this is what we're working on." So I think people are getting a little too hasty calling it a reveal. Call yeah, it a leak. I, I say, I say, call it a leak. It's whatever. It doesn't it's matter to me, reveal enough. or not. I don't plan. Like how many things yeah, about the Switch were leaked that majority were true? But anyways, and, how many, and how many things about the Switch that were leaked that were not true? She's like, so no, mad. Why are you so mad, Nia? She's it's mad because okay. I mentioned I'm, the Metroid thing. I'm not mad. Like, <laughs> why do people keep... No, but here, cause I don't like... Because I don't like when people say, oh, it's confirmed, it's confirmed, but Nintendo hasn't said anything about it. Ubisoft haven't said anything well, about it. They like, do it's or not no. revealed yet. It's a leak. Whatever. That's, <laughs> well, that's what we said. Know, We've been said it was a leak. Here's the thing. No, no. I'm talking about people reporting this, not y'all. People we can't, reporting we can't this control them, saying, though. Control what it's revealed. Says. We can't control them. It's, we're oh, talking about oh, us. We said it. Well, <laughs> I'm talking about the people who are reporting this saying that it was. it's a reveal. Like, we don't know that yet. Well, okay, it, but so I just like, wanted to be clear. It's not, I know, we don't know if it's saying, revealed I, or not. But but I'm I don't know. I'm just going by what the article says. It says, I'm just saying that we are not. Ubisoft is. Making it yeah, RPG that's game. not what I. That's not what I said. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about the article that we're referencing. Right? Yeah, no, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. Yeah, but we're still letting was, everybody know in know our chat. Time, so that, what do you want me to do? That that it's a leak. I mean, they're saying it's it's a reveal, but we're telling y'all it's a leak. When whoever decides to make the actual official reveal, be mindful of the fact that we're not saying it's real or it's not fake, but we're just giving you the information from them. Uh, so there okay. you go. So there's actually, this is actually pretty interesting that this slide got leaked or revealed. With... <laughs> it shows right. the timeline. It says uh, in June we're going to have a surprise announcement. Hmm, that's that's kind of gone at this point. From who? Uh, as, huh? From who? From at, at E3. With a Who's reveal do... plus first. This, no, this was the they original were su- timeline. It's basically what they're supposed to oh, do. Oh, for this. This is what they were supposed thing. to do. Uh, so it shows here the timeline was supposed to be in June, was going to be a su- surprise announcement, even though everyone knew this game was coming uh, at Reveal, and it's going to be hands-on on the show floor. In July, they were going to, ha- what does it say, convince media and gamers um, with previews. And in uh-huh. August, it says go big for launch, and they're going to be at Gamescom, and they're going to be all over the review magazines on the front page. So there's going to be a big push for this game. Whether you like it or not, uh, it is coming. And it shows here, oh, we already looked at this picture. Uh, there's not much else. Uh, the game ID yeah. says the title Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, code name RKB. That doesn't sound right. Uh, right. Genre is crazy combat adventure. So it's its own <laughs> genre. Wow. Crazy, combat, crazy adventure. combat Oh, actually, they have the box art here. There's a yep. giant rabbit in the back and he looks like he a looks giant cr- abdominal snowman that's pretty cool yeah he looks crazy and oh peach god. is taking selfies oh my god that that is gonna drive me crazy but um it says <laughs> it's coming out in either august or september um it was made by ubisoft paris and milan using the snowdrop engine which engine is that is that the, the steam that's engine? that snowdrop <laughs> that's that snowdrop engine we were talking about a couple of that's the one for Isn't Steve, that the right? one that was used for yeah. like, uh, was it a um, child of light that used that joint? Mm-mm. It was the um. Well, let me go back and. I know okay. child of light used like the special Ubisoft. They used engine their own engine. Was that was like an yeah. One. It was I don't the one. What it was we talked. Yeah, we talked about it like um in one of our podcasts a while back. It's not, it's that's the not one the Assassin's that, Creed engine. That's not. It's oh, the one it's that the they used. Tom engine. Clancy, the division one. Yeah, the division one. engine. Yeah. Right, right, right. Was yeah. it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm looking. Is what yeah. They for and the one they used was Soft Park too, as well. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. So yeah. So I guess that engine must be pretty damn scalable. But anyways, here it shows uh, multiplayer again. We're just reiterating two players, but it will be local co-op. 
I don't know why I can't have my online co-op, but Because it's Nintendo. <laughs> like, that's probably not even on them. That sounds like an Ubisoft that's, thing. This honest. might be Ubisoft. Who knows? Uh, but new exclusive, new IP coming to the Switch in the first year. I'm not going to be mad about it. Sorry, I can't. Alex is, Alex is so happy for this game right I'm now. I'm so happy that we're getting He's this. Like, yes, I've, that's been all waiting, is. I've been waiting for Rabbids and Mario. Yay! I, I would rather have this than Metroid. Like, just be honest. Like, rabbits are like the Ubisoft equivalent of minions. Yeah, I like minions. Ew! Okay, well, that explains- a whole bunch of minions over there. That, ex that explains your life, then. <laughs> this guy's gonna be awesome. I got Mario with a gun. <laughs> and I got Yoshi with a bazooka. Oh my god. And I got, got Peach finally- Why does Peach look so weird, though? But I got Peach <laughs> finally standing up for herself instead of getting kidnapped. Dumb bitch. All right, well, well she's there. married now, that's why. <laughs> oh, damn, married to Bowser. Her, her husband can't kidnap her now. You know what would be really funny is that at, at the end of this game, Bowser, that's where Bowser kidnaps her. At the end of this game, and then when you start in that Mario Odyssey, that's where you actually start the game. Oh that'd be crazy. Let's not have anything oh, yeah, to do with crazy. the real Mario game. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So this, this is... Let's say 99% confirmed at this point, since you can't say <laughs> They've been talking 100%. about it for like a year, too. Yeah, well, now we have pictures We'll be hearing these. about it for sure at some point, so The, hey. the rabbits are less egregious than what I thought they'd be. I thought it was going to be worse than this, to be honest, but uh, the only one that's really creepy is that peach one. Yeah, that, she that got the booty sticking really, out of everything really with creepy. the selfie. That's just so weird. And her name is fucking hashtag no filter. My god. Okay. Maybe, because she's talking, maybe because she's taking a selfie. Maybe. She needs a filter. Well, I think that's their names, though. That's their names. Hashtag no filter. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know, sir. I, I gotta need it. I gotta, I need I gotta it. It's gonna be amazing. But uh, anyways... There you go, Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Get ready to see it in action at E3. And if you were lucky enough to go to E3 this year, go wait in a four-hour line and you can test it out. Definitely, uh, play so... play better games. <laughs> oh, <sure. laughs> Make better choices at E3, folks. That's the only game you should line up for, guys. <laughs> line up for Mario Odyssey instead. Don't waste your time. No, that lineup's gonna take you a whole day, though. Hey, it's worth the time. <laughs> no, no, right. <laughs> but let's uh, let's go on to the next thing. Unless you guys want to talk some more about this amazing nah, new IP. we're good. Nope, we're I'm good. good. So yeah, it's a new one, obviously. Good. But let's go on to the next one. <laughs> Hashtag um, the rabbit. <laughs> Nine Parchments is bringing a co-op oh spellcasting game to the Nintendo Switch. Which uh, I think it is. I, oh wait, no, that's the name of the game. Right? Nine Parchments? Nine Parchments, Nine yeah. Parchments, Why did they yeah. write it like that? That doesn't even fucking make sense. Okay, so uh, Frozen Bite is the team, <laughs> and they're announcing a game called Nine Parchments. It's a blast -em up game, and it's coming to the Switch. So you, it looks like you play as wizards, and uh, you team up and shoot things with magic. So this looks pretty cool, actually. I think we're safe to play this trailer, I guess. I'll uh, put a link to I'm gonna to go it ahead and play this trailer because it's not on Nintendo's website, so we should be okay. So well, here you go. I'll stop this running. Chat if anybody wants to see it up close. So I like these kind of games. This reminds me of that Tomb Raider game. Uh, I can't remember the name, but it's Tomb Raider or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, this is kind of like that. It reminds me of Gauntlets too. Uh, Golden Axe kind of, and uh, it's about the Trine guys, right? Yes, which which is why I'm excited. Yeah, like so, trying like, is so dope. It's already out on Steam. I don't know if it's on Xbox or PlayStation, but um, it's coming to the Switch. This will be cool. This has four-player online co-op, right? Right? I don't know. Yeah, I, I do really believe so. I if it's local co-op, I've, I've already lost it. But uh, if it has online co-op, then we can all play this. Wait, hold on. Let's see. This is the kind of game I like too. Like, yeah, you know, I like these kind of games. Like, like, there's yeah. a lot of shit going on here. This looks. This better not be local co-op. If it is, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just not. Interested. I'm not. Yeah, yeah if it's local interested. only, I'm no longer interested. <laughs> but uh, I, I would imagine it's coming uh, for online. I mean, but trying, yeah, trying yeah, so was trying guys, online. So. so. Let's see who we got here. We got a, an owl with a staff, and he's made of gold. That's pretty cool. We have an old man. I don't care about him. Uh, there's a the lazy old man guy. Is always the best. Huh? The old man is always the best character. But look at him. He's got glasses and a long beard, and it looks like he's looking at a receipt 
because he paid too much for his milk or something. Uh, that's an old, there's a guy in the back with a broom and is sleeping. He's clearly the, the lazy guy. Uh, they have a character who oddly looks like Coupon. Uh, that's pretty funny. And she, <laughs> she has ice powers, so that's pretty oh my cool. God. Uh, there's a little girl giving the shifty eyes to this dude bro in the front. Um, and then we have a cat man making an egg. And then we have our protagonist guy who can use magic with just one finger, even though he has a magic staff. Uh, so this game is coming in 2017. Uh, did you find out if this game has online co-op or what? Uh, well, let's find out. Let me read the article, because I have not even done that yet. Oh, uh, oh here we go. With online and local co-op for up to four players, you will wield the power of the elements as you master an arsenal of potent spells. With new characters, wizard hats, wizard staves to unlock, you will level up and train your characters as you take on strange creatures and mighty bosses in a beautiful world. <laughs> so, yeah, I want this game because it does Look have the you. online four player. His co-op. reading voice. <laughs> Alex, bro. <laughs> it's reading voice. Let's well, see. it does have, it has local and online co-op, Yeah, so we have so both options, that's so that's cool. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm it's coming out this it. year, some uh, sometime this year on the eShop. No, it does not need more rabbits. No, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure if they added rabbits, it'd be better. But uh, oh, no. maybe no. they can be added in DLC later. Uh, no, so get on that Ubisoft. Uh, there's no price point. I don't know what it costs on Steam. I will go check I'm right now for you people so you can see. Yeah, I hope it's not gonna be crazy. Nine. Parts. It's probably like twenty bucks at the most. It better not be crazy. Let's nine. See. Nine parchments. Uh, da, 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 da. oh, they don't have the price list. They don't yet. have the price. Yep, no price yet. Oh, I'm gonna imagine it's twenty dollars. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> uh, so look forward to that. That game looks pretty cool, guys. So yeah, what do you guys think about this game? Cool mm. question, guys. Nine parchments is awesome. Oh uh, boy, <laughs> I actually like it. It looks good. It looks good. I love it. It's interesting. Yeah. I it's love tech. trying to. And I like these type of games, these little co-op yeah. games. So as long as you guys are going to get it, I'll play it with you guys. I have no problem mm. with it. It looks fun. Mm. Like, I-, I love trying to on co-op online, so I'll probably like this, too. Yeah. Those They're, they're good developers, so. I guess I'll have to use my character since she looks like me, I guess. That is hilarious. I, I wasn't aware that she looked like me. I couldn't even see it. <laughs> and I'm like, she looks like me? What? <laughs> so funny. If you watch the He's video, like... they show a picture of all the characters at the end. Oh, do they? Okay, yeah. I'll have to check. Like up it close, out. it's pretty funny. But uh, let's go on to the next one. Uh, this one's really cool. I know Nia's excited about this. I'm very excited. I'm not sure if Coupon's excited, but we'll see. Uh, as your Striker Gunvolt Striker Pack is coming to the Switch. Uh, and if oh, you're cool. unaware, that's Azure Striker Gunvolt 1 and 2 bundled together coming to the awesome. Switch. These awesome. were previously on the 3DS. And, yeah. Uh, this is made by the team that. Uh, worked on Mega Man, they worked on Mighty Number no. 9, but don't hold that against them. But like, because <laughs> Gunfights is, is a very good game. Yeah, and this is a game that I actually wanted to get on the 3DS, but I kind of lost interest in playing games on my 3DS, so for them to be coming to the Switch, like, That's I'm pretty excited. Fair. That's good, yeah, I'm uh, glad. So I enjoyed it on the 3DS. And August 31st, uh, there's no information about the North American release. It says it's going to be released worldwide on uh, the 31st of okay, August. Okay, this one, okay, there we go, oh, yeah, okay, there's an update here. So, yeah, worldwide release August 31st, that's not too far away. Uh, and you'll you'll have your arms in Splatoon by then as well. So lots mm-hmm. of good shit to play. Uh, cool. They've also done something that makes me very happy. Uh, gameplay is upgraded from an unplayable 30 frames per second up of to course. 60 frames per second because <laughs> this is a real console, not a 240p mess like the 3DS is. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> that's the advantage of better hardware, and we get an HD screen. Yay. Cool. Uh, it says the it. entire DLC catalog from the 3DS version comes preloaded. That's excellent. So if Good. you've ever played a Mega Man game, you will like this game. Trust me. It's really fun. It I actually did play it on the fun. 3DS. It's very fun. Uh, other than that, the screen it says the screen layout is completely redone because the screen's larger and you can actually read the text. Yeah. Uh, Thank God. God. That was an issue. Uh, what resolution do you know? It's being. Uh, it just says high resolution event graphics and in-game text is what was upgraded. So I would imagine yeah. it's 720p. 
Mm. For because of the on the go stuff, but wait, it doesn't yeah. specifically say that. But it's either seven twenty or ten eighty, like whatever. Yeah. Uh, so that's exciting. I'm happy. You get all the DLC. You get two games, and they added in HD Rumble, which I don't really care about, but it's there if you want it. And there's a new theme song, so that's cool. Uh, <laughs> I hope they keep making this series because it's a lot of fun, and we don't get Mega Man games anymore. So this is kind of. Or, this and is we like definitely game, won't be getting any legit games. ones ever again. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, there's so... several language settings. So there's English, Spanish, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, and Japanese. So if you speak any other language than that, you are SOL. And they're adding Pro Controller support, which will be available at Perfect. launch. So, yes, Yay! as it should be, every game to support the Pro Controller, because I spent $100 on it. So If rabbits come to Smash, I will smack somebody. Uh, <laughs> Stop rabbits it. Rabbits definitely will be making an appearance in Smash. You can Your freaking chat is losing their mind. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> it is, uh, is going to happen. Don't worry about that. Uh, so, now we're going to talk about a company that I hate talking about. Oh my goodness! We're gonna talk. Are, are, do you guys have anything else to say about this game? No, no I think you buy can. it. It's, it looks fun. Yay! All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so coming out soon. Get excited, especially get if you like excited. Mega Man. And if you have never played this or a Mega Man game before, here's a good chance to get into it. Uh, mm -hmm. But let's talk about uh, Sega. 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 So, Sega Forever. <laughs> Triggered. Been, Sega Forever has been popping up on Twitter and Reddit, uh, signaling something very big on the way from Sega. And our good buddy, Mr. Sean Long, seems to have gotten the skinny. He's got the details from some dude in the Philippines who has access to Sega Forever, which seems to be a streaming service. That is on the iPhone and potentially will be brought over to consoles. And you can just play a bunch of Sega games and stream them. And you can either play it for free with the ad support. Or if you don't want ads, you can pay a monthly fee and avoid the ads and join the Sega Forever program. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, if you want more information, I suggest checking out Sean Long's video on it on his channel RGT85. Uh, go check that out because he has screenshots and stuff of all the um, things that dude sent him. But, like, this is Sega's comeback, guys. Like, they're trying a lot of stuff right now. They're bringing out two new Sonic games. They're bringing, out, bringing back games onto new, PC, like, like Bayonetta. People. And Vanquish comes out, actually, tomorrow. So, I don't know what else. Yes! So excited for that. And, yes! Um, yeah, like, Sega's trying to become relevant again because like let's be real sega has been the butt end of everyone's jokes mm. since the dream not to mention they're trying to revive their old ips as yeah, well they're basically. trying to revive old ips outside of sonic and uh they're gonna work on new ips as well and this is just one step closer to them coming back to relevancy and i love what they're doing with this program I love it. It's pretty much Netflix for gaming, which is what we've been wanting Nintendo to do with their virtual console. Right. So the reason we're talking about this, not because we love Sega, but it's because we all want Nintendo to do something like this. This is something we've talked about on here before, uh, where we want Nintendo to evolve the virtual console. Because I, I think everyone here, everyone watching is tired of buying mario over and over and over again whereas something like this you pay your monthly fee or whatever and then you can just stream it and play it whenever you want uh, yep. i love it this is exactly what i wanted them to do and if it can work on your phone and on your computer and on your console like it seems like this thing can do that'd be amazing uh so yeah. i hope they take cues from this and considering they're like across the street from each other in japan i don't see how nintendo wouldn't know about this well, what do you guys think about the Sega Forever? Yeah. Considering that, oh, go ahead, Kupon. No, I wasn't messing. I was just like, yep, it's cool. Yay. Sega. I was going to say, um, <laughs> considering that Nintendo and Sega are BFFs, mm. let's hope that the reason why the virtual console is not really being talked about is because Nintendo is doing something very similar. Mm. Um, because, like Alex said, I'm not buying Super Mario World, like, again. <laughs> I am not buying Super Mario World again, okay? Like, when I buy 
like a game on the virtual console, like I need that joint to stick with me on every console that I go to going forward. Yeah. Period. Okay. Period. Exactly. Like I am so there's, done. There's with no this negotiating game. anymore, Nintendo. We're not negotiating with you anymore. We're done with that. <laughs> so bad. the Switch is your new product. This is your new thing going forward. It has it literally has foolproof, you know, future proof plans to it. Get you a fucking service together so I can buy my shit this one last fucking time and it follows me to the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one because if you tell me that I get another one and I gotta buy it again, you can eat a dick. A bunch of donkey dicks. Facts. We're not doing it again. Straight facts. <laughs> We're not doing it again. Stop. Straight facts. I'm done. I'm not buying Super Mario World again. And that's just one example. I've bought multiple virtual console games, I'm not buying them again if they don't get it together. Yeah, <sighs> one example. Because you're not doing backwards compatibility multiple. anymore, so allow yeah. us uh, accessibility to your library of wonderful games that you have. Give us that access. You have a you can put up a subscription service. I'm sure people are more than willing to do that as long as they know yeah. that it's coming with them wherever they go. They can play it on their computer or their, you know, phone, on their switch, whatever device they have, as long as it's accessible to the internet interwebs, let us play our, our games. Thank you. And good night. Yes. <laughs> and and the thing that I think is interesting about this, I honestly think this is something that they could have done like a long time ago. Oh, I mean, oh, yeah. better late than never, right? But one of the things that I found mm. find really interesting is everybody's like, oh, Sega, please make a new console, make a new console, make a new console. And you know, mm. it's never happening again. But yeah. having a virtual console, if you will, is the mm. next best thing. Yeah. Yeah. And they can continue to make new games with it. Yeah. Put it on the service and make them like digital only games like they did with the Sonic Episode 4 or whatever that thing was that they mm. made some time ago. Like if they did something like that, like that would be lit. Like, we talked about Sega on the last podcast. Oh, my goodness, right? And we were talking about Streets of Rage. Like, I would totally be okay with the Streets of Rage 4 that has, like, the same, like, pixel art from the original. As long as it's, like, you know... <clears throat> a little it's, modernized, but, you know... Right. Like, like kind of like Strike... Um, Azure Striker or whatever, Gunvolt. Yeah, like, like they Ace have of it. Rage. I'd be cool yeah. with it. That'd be great. And make it for sev- Sega Forever? Yeah, I'll be down for that. And then going back into that back catalog, because, I mean, back in the day, you know, I had a Sega Genesis as well, so, you know. You know they have a lot of good games that yeah. a lot of people are missing out on, you know. Some of these young bucks need to need to some understanding of what real games are about. Okay. You know, the games where you went, you can't say nothing. You got to start from the beginning of the fucking map. <laughs> Facts. At the beginning, after you didn't got to the boss, and you finished the, your boss, then whooped your butt, you go back to the beginning of the freaking map. Not to the freaking middle, not to some save point. The beginning. <laughs> that's, that's the true uh, test of strength right there. But yeah, this is good news. This is definitely good news. So good job to on you, Sega. Good job on you. Like um, Xbox is doing it with their Game Pass, which uh, Mm -hmm. which really, in in all honesty, the Xbox Game Pass is a fantastic service. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ten dollars a month, and you can stream a bunch of 360 and Xbox One games, and you can actually download them too if you're not into streaming. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Uh, Sony has their PS Now, which is an inferior version of Game Pass. Now Sega's (laughs) doing this. Like it only makes sense to for the companies to do this because I like it's like what people want. Like they want to be able to stream yeah. games for like one price per month because like we live in a Netflix yeah. world now. Because this so. it's kind of hard yeah. to find some of these older games anyway. Yeah. So like and having really a streaming service down the gets price to of it. Games too. Yeah. yeah, and you can get and rid of freaking GameStop with stuff like this. <laughs> and one thing that some, that guy supposedly told to Sean to RGT eighty five was that. Like there was that that screenshot where you could like play it through the cloud or it looked like maybe you could download it so that you'll have yeah. it for yourself and just be able to play it yeah, wherever look, you want. It looks like they're doing the, the, the Microsoft way where you can either yeah. stream it or download it. But I think if you download it, you have to actually sign up for, for the program. Right. So, because the, the streaming option was free. But mm-hmm. if you want to actually download it and own the game, you have to pay for the service. Right. Yeah. Which makes sense. Which that makes mm-hmm. sense. So yeah, this is cool. Sega's making big plays, guys. Uh, they're, they're not, uh, get, get the Dreamcast 2 they're out of your sleep. mind. That's not happening. But like, they're trying to become relevant once more. 
Mm-hmm. They care about money again. <laughs> they care about money. It looks like Atlas is fixing Sega, even though Sega bought Atlas. But uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that, that's just funny how the world works. But enough oh of Sega. Goodness. Let's talk about Nintendo. Nintendo, yes. Nintendo. Now, we're going to talk about some stuff that's not so fun. And then Aww. we're going to end with, um, with our thought-provoking thing. So, two major games coming out this year uh, have been announced where they're not coming to the Switch. Uh, those are Middle Earth Shadow of War and Destiny 2. So, uh, this was announced a couple days ago for Shadow of War. Uh, this is going to be an incredible game. If you've ever played Shadow of Mordor, that was one of the best games that came out in 2014. Absolutely incredible fucking game. So I'm super excited for this next one. Uh, it probably won't be Zelda good, but like, Let's be real, there's not, there's not going to be a game as good as Zelda for the rest of this generation. Uh, but this will be an excellent game, but it's not coming to the Switch. Uh, they say they have no plans for the Switch at this time. Now, this could be because it's been in development for so long and they can't just port it over to the Switch out of nowhere, which is true. Yeah. Uh, but that doesn't mean it can't come later. But as of right now, there's there's no plans for it. Um they, they don't really give a reason. They just said they don't have plans for it. Uh, which sucks. Like, that sucks. Because this is a good game. Uh, I'd like to see stuff from WB that isn't just Lego games. Right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, thank you. That's, Please that's and thank you. That's all they gave during the Wii U generation after they stopped uh, putting the Batman games another Lego, Lego game. Enjoy. And no. uh, yeah, I like the Lego games, but they be they wilding out, fam. Yeah, <laughs> the Lego, Lego games. Okay. It's like, come on they now, that's not all you got. <laughs> that's not all you got. And they obviously we didn't get uh, Injustice Two. Um, that's also from WB. Yeah. <laughs> so they don't seem to have much interest in the Switch outside of Lego, which yeah, is, it's, uh, unfortunate. it's unfortunate. But yeah, okay, don't get that Switch yeah. money then. <laughs> I think a lot of people won't really be jumping on board till next year. Uh, yeah, that's how I I, that's how I'm seeing it, and that's when yeah. the boat's gonna. That's when the ship's gonna sail. <laughs> well, Could have yeah, got that early least, money. Well, these guys, they didn't give an answer, so that's just kind of whatever. We're gonna chalk it up to we'll it was see. too far in development, so that's yeah. whatever. Uh, but Which Destiny Two devs, they did have a reason, and it is a stupid reason. Uh, so this is what we're going to talk about after, but Destiny 2 is not coming to the Switch, not because it can't run on the Switch, not because it's been in development for so long, but they said something so stupid that it kind of lit the internet on fire for a little while. They said, I think it is unrealistic given we are an online only game, uh, he told the site, the Switch because it's portable, and I love my Switch, I've got Breath of the Wild here, I've got it with me. It's incredible, <laughs> I love the console. But in terms of what it is, I do not want to leave anyone with the possibility of, like, it's a thing we'll consider maybe next year. There's no plans for the Switch right now. So... <sighs> The only reason this game is not coming to the Switch is because it's an online-only game. And the Switch is a portable device, so they have it in their mind that some dope is going to be playing Destiny 2 at home, and they're going to take their Switch out of their dock and go outside and be like, Hey, why can't I play Destiny anymore? And then go sue Activision or something. Uh... <sighs> They, this is why companies need PR, guys. Because this is such a stupid way to add, to tell someone why the game is not coming to the console. Like, oh, it's an online-only game. Of course it's not coming to the Switch, you dumbass. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, my God. What do you guys think about this shit? I, mean, I don't know. Common sense would tell you if it's an online-only game, you should probably not be running around with yeah. your Switch on wireless internet that might cut in and out if you find some somewhere out there in the open space but you should probably be playing it at home and most people are playing this thing at home any fucking way i don't see anybody yeah. asking to play destiny 2 on the go did anybody ask for that i didn't <laughs> so i'm pretty sure people will be at home playing that game irregardless um I mean, it just sounds kind of silly how he put it together, but hey, I mean, okay, he gave us an excuse, so, you know, whatever, man. 
It is what it is, yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. in a way, I get it. I mean, like the, I get it like the, uh, the whole draw of the Nintendo yeah. Switch is you can take it with you, right? But right. Um, people, like, like, I mean, we've said it many times uh, on Team Red Talks Nintendo about how the Nintendo Switch is a portable system through and through. Like, that's, that's yeah. true. It's always yeah. going to be yeah. true. But one thing people keep forgetting is that although the Nintendo Switch is a portable, portable device. device through and through, there's also still that draw where you have a choice on mm-hmm. how you want to play it. Mm-hmm. You can play it at home or you can play it on the go, right? right. It's right. not like... It's not mandatory on the go. Yeah. Right. Like It's not like a 3DS where the entire console is for the sake of playing it on the go right. or playing it portably, right? Um... So, but in some ways, I do understand because, like, a lot of the um, uh, attraction to the Switch is the fact that you could play it on the go, and a lot of people like that. So, I I get it. Like, that draw of portability is appealing to a lot of people. Um, But at the same time, it's also a choice to just play it on your TV. So, it's like, I get it, but then at the same, it's like, I don't get it because it's both, like, there's two two sides of the coin. coin. Yeah. You know? you could still make the game like in in a perfect world you you put the game on the switch anyway yeah. um the online app happens to be actually decent there's no you know hiccups or nothing nintendo fixes their shit whatever yeah. um you know and the game works sure there might be some people that actually want to play it on the go but i don't understand why they would want to they would have to take a hot spot with them that is some extra stuff to play it on the go but for the most part i just don't see anybody Going, I don't see anybody trying to play this game on the go on a Switch. If they get it on the Switch, they're playing it to play it at home. And the on the go capabilities for a Destiny game yeah. isn't why they were getting the game on the Switch to begin with. It's because they preferred the Switch over the other consoles and you know PC and stuff. So yeah. that's just that's just where I come from. It's like you know it's giving people options to play it everywhere as opposed yeah. to just certain places and then you know well skip you guys because you know yeah. online <laughs> that's, just, first, that's kind yeah. of the vibe i get you know it's like well you know you could play it everywhere it's just not there because you know online like well that yeah. doesn't make sense it has online but okay, okay cool but one, one thing that i i think when i when i read like y'all could tell me if i'm wrong or not or, or if you disagree or if you feel like some different. But I, when I read this, you know, his excuse is real stupid. But I think that it was just a roundabout way of just saying that they don't want to deal with Nintendo's online situation. And that's right. my, my thing is just come right out and, you know, just be like, well, don't say it. Like, obviously, you can't just come right out and say that. But, like, he, it, the way he worded it was just not very well thought out. And like Alex said, they need somebody who's good with PR because the way you say things can really bite you in the ass. And for him to say it the way he did, just kind of like, it, it didn't take much thought into his reply. It's like, I have a Switch too, and I got Zelda. Like, I don't give a fuck what you got. Like, that don't mean, that don't mean shit to me. That don't mean nothing. So I got, I had an Xbox once, and your point? <laughs> like, like yeah. it's, None of that mean, yeah. means anything. Be more mindful yeah. of how you uh, word stuff and how you say things. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess basically it could have been like it wouldn't have been. It's not realistic to us right now because we had already had it in development prior to. We can look into it, but we don't want to get people's hopes up. Maybe they yeah. could have said something like that. It's like just to let and not even you know. It's kind of a roundabout way of saying it. It's not an actual excuse, but it's not yeah. you know admitting to anything, and it's not you know it's not admitting and it's not denying anything you know Mm -hmm. what i'm saying it's just like look we already the game is already you know pretty much done it's already got you know its platforms it's going to and And right now and that's understandable and that's understandable and you know and it's already has platforms it's going to we see that the switch is available uh we'd like to look more into their online services and whatnot and see what we can do from there but we don't want to promise anything and we don't want to get your hopes up yeah. With that kind of reply, I'd be like, all right, that makes sense. That They're looking sense. into it. You know, don't want to get our hopes up. It is what it is. You know, figure it out. See what y'all going to do. And if you're not, you're not. You are, you are. But at least yeah. you're not promising anything mm-hmm. and you're not making right. some lame ass excuse. And Keith Norris just made a, re- he had a good, a good question in the chat. He said, 
could it be Nintendo's fault for not announcing their online plans? And it probably could, because Nintendo ain't talking about sure it much. None of us it. know nothing. <laughs> so it's, like, yeah, you're keeping that a secret from yeah. a lot of your uh, consumer base. Plus, I, I don't know how much of Nintendo's it. Nintendo's not keeping it a secret from the developers. Not from them, I don't think. Not from developers, I don't think. From us, sure. But I'm pretty sure the developers have inside information as to what the their online yeah. uh services is capable of so i just think what it is is maybe they do know what's going on and they feel like it's not going to work well on the switch that could be a right. thing like they probably saw what they have available and they're like dude i'm sorry to tell you guys but right. destiny ain't gonna work too well on this right. on the go or not yeah and, and so, you have to think you have to remember like even though bungie is really trying to go around the whole destiny is not an mmo thing let's keep it real destiny yeah. is very mmo like okay yeah. and there are it's, so it's many got its, elements yeah, it's got similarities yeah. definitely there are so many elements and attributes that come with the mmos like that keeps like basically the entire game is running off of online whether it's like leaderboards right. trying to make sure that there's games open you know even like the in-game shops and stuff like that all of that stuff is running in real time with online infrastructures like that's a lot of um, very um, sophisticated is stuff our, going on Bungie in games can, like this, right? So, <laughs> so like for like Nintendo's online, like if Nintendo doesn't have an online infrastructure that can support a game as sophisticated as like a Destiny or any other online only game, like I feel like that that's kind of worrisome. I mean, I don't know if that's that's why. They're saying what they're saying about this whole online thing, or if I'm just reading into it just based on what I think for myself, just reading this. But I don't know. I feel like it has something to do with the online than anything else. Some people like, say that they else. that they don't think it's coming to Switch because it can't run on it. They already said. I don't it, think it has anything to do with anything, anything to do with the Switch. It's it's mostly the yeah. online that they're concerned about is from Bungie or whoever the frick. That's their major concern is the online. Is yeah, the online? If it couldn't run on the Switch, they would. They would have said it. Like, they would have said no that. No problem yeah. shitting on Nintendo hardware when it comes to yeah. being able to run a game. N none of these devs do. So uh, we don't hear a lot of you can't run. You guys, it's mostly. You guys Forget Batman Arkham Knight couldn't run because of the fucking Batmobile. Right? So Stupid nonsense like that. They have no problem saying shit like that. Like, like they'll it's... they'll tell you flat out. They'll be like, Yeah, you know, the Batmo you know, we can't run Destiny on here because the guns. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jetpacks like, or something. Bump down to 720p. And this the for whatever reason, this game, shooting game in 2017 is 30. Ugh. 30 frames per second. These are PC heads, so they're... Oh, hey, you trying to tell me that a 30 frame per second shooter can't can't run on the Switch, fam? Yeah. Go yeah. ahead and, and decrease some of them textures, fam, okay? That yeah, tessellation can no. come down a little bit. That can fit on the Switch. Like, and apparently it's using the same assets from Destiny uh, 1, and Destiny 1 was on the PS3 game. and 360. This game can run on the Switch. It's just that online, I think, is the major concern. Yeah. But yeah, so I guess that will kind of lead us into the the what we wanted to talk about, and that's Nintendo's online online network, yeah. um, and how it's still shrouded in mystery even after a couple months of owning this device. Um, is Nintendo's network gonna be what we expect it to be? What we're paying for? Are we gonna see more situations like Destiny where they're blaming? the online network for reasons why you can't get this game. It's a little odd that um, we're into the Switch ownership of over two months now, and we still don't know what's going on with their online network. Mm -hmm. uh, other than they're going to change it up in the summer, I think, after Splatoon, and then you got to start paying for it. And uh, we'll have some sort of uh, voice and app. What? Uh, which has not know. been explained so, yet. So, like, I'm I'm very curious. I want to see their online network. Like, I want it to be on par with what Xbox Live and uh, PSN are doing, even though both of those went down recently. But um, that is what it is. Uh, because their existing network on the Wii U is not good. And we're already seeing some uh, shitty results with the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's gotten a lot still... better. Like, uh, last 
we played on Monday. Uh, it was a lot less yeah. disconnects than the week before. So they're obviously mm -hmm. doing stuff in the back end to fix things. Um, but it doesn't seem much better than the Wii U, and we're going to be paying for it soon, and we still don't know uh, what we're and getting. They got a lot of games on the horizon and with a lot, a lot of online yeah, capabilities. So... multiplayer games from them that are coming out, yeah. like Splatoon so, is coming, ARMS yeah. is coming. Um, those yeah. are big multiplayer games, and we just have Mario Kart, so that's three big AAA Nintendo games that are online-centric, and mm -hmm. uh, we still that's don't know much point. about their network. That's a yeah. good point. Like the most of the whole, you know, first year of Nintendo is going to be online game. Well, yeah. the first half of the year, yeah. online games. And so then we close like... it out with like Fire Emblem Warriors and and Xenoblade and Mario, which are more single player heavy games. Right. So I'm just curious because like with these games that do require online to uh you know to enjoy them to their fullest potential. You know what kind of online are we expecting to pay for because if you're gonna get disconnect constantly and it's still the wii u version oh of the online and all that craziness that's not worth like 30 worst, bucks worst case to me. scenario like, is it's wii u online with and you're paying for voice chat and stuff that's and it's worst like, case that's scenario. worst case um, scenario. no I'm not that's no that. no that's, no i'm not no, no I'm, just, I'm just putting that out yeah. there that's like, just that, that's what if, if that's what that is fam they can have it bro because that's nope. essentially pulling a sony yeah uh giving you a ps3 network but charging you for it that that's what would be happening if they're trying to pull this stuff i am still in the belief that dna has created or is still creating Something. a new network yeah. for them I but hope. nintendo has not launched it yet and we have just simply been playing on the wii u's network yeah that's what i'm and feeling like it yeah. is that's what i hope for that's that's I what i'm hope that's, that's what i'm case. feeling how it is right now is like we're still i'm i know for a fact we're still on the wii u um network like that's that's no doubt but i'm hoping that whatever dna has is going to be launched prior to our paying for it and they give us the chance to actually feel the difference between what we got now and what dna has available for us before we pay for it because we're supposed to get a free yeah because you know, there's a free trial or something right? yeah so i want to see what it is what this chat bullshit is all about apps all that other craziness and stuff and it's like the fact that they're taking so long to launch this and they're not giving us any information whatsoever is worrisome, but also it's biting them in the ass at the same time because... Like, I, honestly, I don't understand the point of withholding information about your online network. Mm -mm. I don't I don't get it either. Like, just, they should have told us in January, I feel. Like, upon like there's no us, reason to be... Like, it's, it's not like this is a game and you're withholding gameplay. Right, right. This is it like, is a service that we're supposed to be... This is how we play online with our friends. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, understand why this because, is such a big secret. Exactly. That's so weird to me. It's, it just because, seems kind of ass backwards the way they're doing it. It doesn't make sure. any sense. Like, like sense. we got all these online games coming up, playing Mario Kart right now, Hard Body. We mm. still don't know what this freaking online is supposed to be about. Like, that's just crazy to yeah, me. Yeah, like, I, I just want to know, can I add people to my game easily can i message them can we talk right like, these are not can I tell like, crazy these are can i spam i gotta switch bitch to my friends like that's crazy this to is me not that's something this is not something me. magical it's not something new it's not something innovative it's not at it's all very we've basic been there, features that. that we've been doing for two generations right yeah so, so like i'm i'm a ma i would imagine they're gonna talk about this at e3 like i I think that's going to be part of their presentation, which is most likely going to be an hour-long presentation. Which they really I mean, they have really to talk about it at E3 because apparently that three point. joint's supposed to come out in the summer. Right? right. Yeah, and we know it's a Mario-centric presentation because that's the focal right. point of the uh, event. <coughs> I hope Excuse it's me. at the event and not just, like, spoken about during the treehouse off to the side. Right. Because um, I want them to go in. I want the fucking Joy Con treatment for the online. <laughs> for pretty <laughs> much, because they spent forever telling you about that Joy Con, Con rumble nonsense. Like, they uh, I would like, <laughs> I would like an in depth look at their online network. I want to know the features. I want to know what app what I got to download <laughs> on right? my phone How so does I can it tape work? it to my head 
and talk to Coupon and Nia while we're playing games. Uh, but like, like obviously we're we're just joking around. But at the same time, uh, it, it's uh, we need to see what's going on uh, with the network because we're it's not free anymore. So like, obviously we want to know what you're yeah. what we're paying for. At E3, they better go balls to the walls with information on this online. I swear All I'm saying goodness. is this online has got to be up to par because if I can't, if I'm, I, I mean, if I, I can't do Wii U online no more, not with these new games coming out, and then that makes it even worse because then I can't get the games because no online because I will be, I'll just be no online boys. <laughs> yeah, no online boys. I have no online boys. Oh, not spending extra money. Like they can, they can kind of sugarcoat it and call it a demo or whatever for the online network. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to get this because you won't be able to play online without paying for this network anymore. That That is, that those is days basically are done. It. So if you want to continue playing Mario Kart, Online, and all these other yeah this. if you want to play arms online you have to buy this if you want to play splatoon yep. 2 you have to buy this so you gotta have to hold them accountable and ask them what's up with this network yeah, what are we so doing that's what are we paying for people right now y'all need to be questioning nintendo and yeah. asking the, be screaming at them hey what the fuck is your online about because we haven't heard shit we need to know now now, now we're hearing now. stuff like the destiny guy saying well their online network blah 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 it's an online only game we don't want to put it on the switch stuff like that uh, you know, so that's questionable a, as well. Norm. And that's a bad thing to become a norm. <laughs> yeah, so if you got devs who have online games and they, I'm pretty sure they know about the online and they're thinking that the online ain't going to work, ain't going to vibe too well with the game that they got, then that's questionable to me. That's something we need to know about because if you can't play these games, then, and, then how much longer are we going to be lasting on our freaking Mario Kart? If I'm going to be getting booted off of Mario Kart every five minutes of the day, yeah. I'm like, no, stop. <laughs> like, hey, guys, we have Mario Kart 8 Monday. Oh, no, no. Disconnected Monday. Sorry, y'all. Not today. Disconnect Monday. Disconnect Kart 8. Disconnect <laughs> Pretty Kart much. 8. Uh, Disconnect Kart Boys. <laughs> Disconnect yeah, like, Arms. Um, that, that's kind of the biggest... <laughs> question in the air for for the switch right now is the online network we already know the games that are coming uh from nintendo side we'll obviously see some third party stuff that wasn't announced yet at yeah. three this year that will come out later but um the main thing is their online network because that is going to be a huge change for them yeah it's tying in the nintendo that. id right. everything's going to sync together potentially cloud saving and a whole bunch of other shit that could be very cool but yeah. they're just not talking about it for some the reason. Fact that, yeah, the fact that they're not talking about it really yeah. has me antsy. And that's the where I don't like. The, what's the right. secret? Maybe we know you have like, online coming. Like, we don't know. Like, yeah, like, we don't know if there's going to be, like, dedicated servers. Like, we don't know right. exactly how this app is supposed to work or if it's going to be on the system as well as on your phone or only on your phone. Like. Like, you don't you know how give us some like, kind of cloud service is going to work because apparently DNA is supposed to be working on some cloud service. Like, what is that supposed to be about? Right. Like, is there going to be is it going to be linked to like your saves as well as the virtual console? Like, how is this stuff going to work? I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand what they're going to do. But I guess we. I want we, them to right talk about now, it. Right now, we're playing the wait and see game, and I don't like that. I don't like playing wait and see with online services. Games, yeah. sure, but online services, no thanks. I like to know what the hell I'm going to be paying for, especially when I'm paying something. And yeah, I know it's only $30. It's not 60 like the Xbox and PlayStation. But, my dear. Yeah. Uh, Tell us the exact my, price. Like how much money. is it going to cost? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. It's yeah, money. Yeah, we actually don't I, I, know if it's $30 yet. It might be even more yeah. than that. Who knows? We'll see. So. But for I the most part. 30. 30 would be better than 60 obviously. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I hope it is. Like. But if it's 30, that makes me question how cheap is they fucking internet? Mm. <laughs> is there fucking online, you know? Unless this just Nintendo. How they have Kojima it? said something like they're charging to help be competitive with, like, features. Uh, he said something like that. So, like, sometimes. that means voice chat. That means... Yeah. To me, that uh -huh. means voice chat. That means game invites. That means friend lobbies. All this kind of yeah. shit. Yeah, because that and, stuff costs money. Yeah. Groups and, and, and I don't and I don't have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but let like, just let us know what we're paying for. Yeah, that's my yeah. my concern is what is my money going to? And thank you very oh, much. I'm, I'm with you, Unforgiven. <laughs> I, buying Destiny Two on console is 
the way it's it is. Not even an it's not even, it's not even an option. It. Like, you shouldn't even do it. If you want Destiny 2, the only place to play it is PC. Like, that mm-hmm. shit's gonna look better, but more importantly, it has uncapped frame rates, so you can play it all the way up to 144 hertz. Whereas the Xbox and PlayStation, even the Pro, and most likely and the Scorpio, Scorpio, are locked at 30, which is disgusting. Yep. It's not even, the, there's no point in getting Destiny on console. Mm-hmm. Well, unless you're a peasant. I mean, if that's your only means, then you know, yeah. go ham. But you know, if you got a PC, <laughs> if you got a PC that can, you that can remember dig this, it. people. The reason Destiny One was thirty FPS was because of the PS3 and 360. That excuse doesn't fly anymore. And we've already had several 60 FPS shooter games in 2016 and 2015, like all the Call of Duty games, Battlefield, Battlefront, Titanfall Two, <laughs> Halo Five, all games that not only look better. But run better. So what's the excuse? Like, honestly, what is it? Like, you, ugh, there's no reason that game should be 30 FPS. It's, it's lazy. Disgusting. Yeah. That's just, la- that's just lazy boys, man. And yeah. you can bet your ass that um, Battlefront 2 will be 60 FPS. You can bet your ass World War 2 Call of Duty will be 60 FPS. And whatever comes after Battlefield 1 will be 60 FPS. Okay, so we're reaching like an hour thirty. You're not trying to catch oh, you right. up. Okay. So, so let's get into questions, questions then, questions. and we'll get out of here. Mm-hmm. I got a lot of questions today. This has Go been a, a very good podcast. Like, not to toot, not to toot our own horns or anything, but well, this, is just this ain't good. no subpar toot, toot. podcast. This is classy. No. <laughs> toot motherfucking toot, toot motherfucking toot toot toot, toot that horn. <laughs> Okay, so I got some questions. You want me to go first or what? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna. I got these questions here from. uh, uh, Let's see. I'm gonna start with Keith. I ask Keith's questions first. Um, Hold on, real quick. He asked. It's a two-parter. One: Are you feeling underwhelmed with the Switch or Nintendo as a whole right now? And the second question is, why are we still waiting on the virtual console, LOL, <laughs> three generations? Really, my dude? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I guess the first question, are you feeling underwhelmed with the Switch or Nintendo as a whole? Anybody want to talk about that? They're, underwhelmed. There's a lot of things with the Switch that annoy me. Mm-hmm. But overall, I know those things will be fixed eventually yeah. so it doesn't bother me too much and I'm, I'm talking about stuff like the netflix and the youtube yeah. and messaging your friends and stuff like that which is not here yet but i know it's coming uh so it doesn't bother me too much but the the things that irritate me that i know won't be fixed is um just the way that they communicate with people that stuff yeah that's annoying like uh, that's a cultural thing i guess with them being like a very very japanese Japanese group or something like Like the old school japanese shit whatever but like i'm way more invested in them with the switch than i ever was with the wii u yeah so i guess you could say that (laughs) um i mean i'm with alex on that like my thing is like this uh hybrid console whatever you want to call it handheld um the switch we i mean most of us here knew that it came out fairly early a little bit you know past its development it didn't get everything it was supposed to have upon launch and i went in knowing that very much well so that wasn't surprising as far as being underwhelmed or anything or overwhelmed like underwhelmed not really i mean i knew it i knew going in yeah, we weren't going to get all the we all knew what we were getting going in it's it's up to it's generally up to the individual like if you wanted all that you know bells and whistles then obviously you would probably want to wait until next year when all the bells and whistles will be completed hopefully um but if you weren't too worried about that and you knew this coming and you and you, you just want to play the games and you want to get started on your games like I do then of course you're going to get the game you're going to get the system now and I'm not underwhelmed by any means I knew what yeah. I was getting into 
I'm a little disappointed that we got to play this whole guessing game with the online services and all that yeah. other tidbits and that's stuff. But, you know, that's the only thing that kind of irritates me about this situation is the whole why Why are we here standing around looking or looking questionably at each other? Like, what, do you know what the... No, I don't know, man. Well, have you heard? No, nah, we ain't heard nothing. Why are you being secretive about it, Nintendo? That's all that is. Other than that, I mean, I'm fairly excited. I'm excited to see what they're going to do in the future. I'm excited with what they're doing now. All the games that we do see coming on the horizon are great. They're good signs that they have heard us from the Wii U era and they understand that fuck that shit, we ain't having it this time around. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, I'm very excited to see what's going on. But I'm definitely not underwhelmed, just a little peaked because of certain things. But other than that, I'm I'm fine. I'm I'm having a blast. Yeah. Yeah, I I love my Switch, man. It's just like yeah. Coupon said, the online stuff is like questionable <laughs> that's mad questionable fam they gotta they gotta solidify some like, things for me on secret? that front. like what is the secret is you about to drop a bomb on us because you dropped a bomb on me baby you I, I guess they must be dropping bombs at e3 or something maybe that's what they're so secretive about but online bombs really yeah <laughs> those never were bombs to be dropping like i don't know what else <laughs> right and I also have another question from. I'm sorry, were you gonna uh, finish your response, uh, Alex? Huh? Oh, I was just gonna say, yeah, yeah. I, I like the the idea of the switch. I think it's like they hit the nail on the head this time around. They, mm -hmm. they found a way to get home console gaming on the go and fit naturally with people. Right. Now that's the biggest that's, thing. Like that's the best thing about the switch. Like even. Even a couple of days ago, I had to go take my car to get all the brakes fixed, and it took like three hours. Oh so my goodness! I was just fucking sitting there playing Mario Kart uh, in oh the lobby goodness. while I was waiting. It's just like I can't do that with my PlayStation. I can't do that with my PC. Like, and it's just so seamless. And then everything transfers over when I come home. Just pop it into the dock, and I can just play on the on the monitor like it's it's awesome that kind of stuff yeah. I, I love the switch for that kind of shit yeah uh, i love my switch man gimmick right this time yeah <laughs> yeah I, I love my switch it's like you know some gripes like the online and, fe and the features and junk that i don't like but if nintendo can find a way to address those things within the first year you know what i'm saying we gucci but if it takes long like it did with the wii u i'm gonna be raging like I did with the Wii U. So, I mean, it is what it is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, and the next question that I have is from Paul Robinson. He says, what value features do you want from an online service? I want everything Xbox Live has. Done and done. Simple as that. <laughs> I mean, we're paying for it. Might as well. Okay. Like, I mean, it's the, I mean, this, 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 that's as that's as straightforward anything. as you can be. Like all we can do is connect to each other online. It needs everything. It needs voice chat. It needs uh, messaging. You know, I can't even message people good. on my friends list. Like all yeah. I can do is like see that I can see who's online. Can block them. Like and it has online notification because I got I get notifications <laughs> yeah, when people get the, online. No, it has online notifications so, now. Which notification. is cool. So I mean that's a that's a plus. We know it has those things. Like, it's we just, need cross we can't access chat. them. We need uh, we need instant invites from the home menu or in game menu. I would love game everything. sharing. That would be nice. Game sharing, live streaming, recording. It's a whole bunch of stuff they can add. Well, that's not part of video game shit, Storm. It's a console. Like, dude, it's a yeah, ha it's these, a handheld kind of device that you could take on the go. Like that, <laughs> only say it because they don't have it. But when they have it, they love it, and they express, Trust me. and then they yeah. get excited that there's they have a lot it of people console. that have a Switch right now that otherwise would not touch a Nintendo console of yeah. any sort yeah. ever. Exactly. So let's just throw that out there. So we're done with that whole debacle about I don't play Nintendo. There are people who literally, people who are literally who had nothing to do with Nintendo last generation and quite a few generations ago, and now they have a Nintendo console. So. Right. And Nintendo that's, has to service those people, period. They yeah. have to service us and they have to service those people. Like, we and live in a day. coming from Xboxes and Sony, PlayStation exactly. and stuff. So they expect to see those things on that on a console of sorts. So exactly. they expect to see that stuff. And if it's not there upon launch, they're yeah. looking around like, what the fuck is yep. this? Like, everybody was mm -hmm. hyping this shit up. 
and we don't have these services, why not? I'm used exactly. to this on my Xbox. I'm used to this on my um Sony PlayStation. I'm used to this hell on PC. I mean, exactly. Yeah. Those you know? the Switch should have those things. Period. Hell, a fucking like, tablet period. has it. Your phone has it. Like right. And that so, was one of the gripes that I had that I even talked about in my like one month. My one month with the Switch video was like, okay, here you have this device mm-hmm. that's supposed to mimic tablet gaming, mm-hmm. but you can't talk to people. You know what I'm saying? You can't message people. You can't access things like a web I can't access my email email. to go email some damn body at the very least. (laughs) Or anything that you would expect the tablet to do. You you feel me? So it's like Nintendo has to like and it has to be first year address these things hard body. Period. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got a question here. Where'd it go? Uh, when do you think Nintendo will announce their online features? I think it's at I think E3. E3. Probably at E3. It seems like it, they're so secretive. For, they've been quiet for so long when they could have announced about They could have talked about it when they um, revealed the Switch to begin with. Like, that could have been an event to do it at, and they decided not to. So, with how long we've been waiting, I think E3 sounds more plausible yeah, at this and point. And if they the don't, too, and if they don't, so oh my god, what the fuck are they doing? If they do not oh, announce can, this shit like, around E3. It's scary to think this, but they could just not even talk about it and just and like all of a sudden be like, okay, today is the day we're charging for online. Right? And that and that's, it, that's just... That's not what I want at all. That is not what I want. And if that happens to be a thing, oh my god, um, oh, oh, Nintendo, oh. you're gonna be fucking up really badly because I'm I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm rooting yeah, we, for we you. We had 20 minutes of Joy-Con, so... I think 20 that, minutes of Joy-Con. 20 minutes of Joy-Con. 20 minutes of Joy-Con. I, think we, get, I think we can get some information about their online. Like, can we get at least 20 minutes of what your online is doing? Because you sure as hell gave us yeah. enough information about cups and oh, water man. and fucking ice. And ice cubes. Oh. I'll be so happy if all they, all they need to say is two words. Well, not really two words, but if they say all Nintendo online games going forward, dedicated servers. Yes! If I hear that, oh Jesus. I'll be very yes. I'm going to wet my pants. Oh my goodness. No more disconnect, disconnect, disconnect. card. Because uh, no as you guys know card. now, the way Nintendo's online network works for stuff like Mario Kart is it's a peer-to-peer network. So it chooses somebody at random to be the host. And if that person has dodgy internet, everyone's having a bad time. So... <laughs> Uh, hopefully, yeah. we're talking about dedicated servers at E3 this year, Nintendo. Come on, you're, you're charging us. It's not unreasonable. Uh, exactly. Let me see what else I got on here. Uh, have you guys bought Disgaea 5? No. Nah. Uh, not yet. I'll probably get it later down the road. I thought you had it. Mm-mm. Uh, I do not have it. I've never played Disgaea before, and I don't think jumping on on the fifth game makes sense. Uh, it's a, there's no continuation from the others, but I get oh, what really? you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't. None of the stories really follow. They just have certain characters from other previous ones, but they're not really following a dedicated story across oh, uh, all five of them. Then they're all different I'll stories. Uh, would you rather have a Mario and Sonic RPG game rather than Mario and Rabbids crossover? I don't want a Mario and nothing RPG game. To me, the only Mario RPG series I like is Paper Mario, to be honest. Like, I tried uh, Mario, what was that game? Mario Mario and Luigi Luigi. Super Saga on the 3DS, and I just really wasn't feeling it, to be honest. Like, but that's the more, yeah, that's the more RPG game now, though. Yeah, it is, it is. But, like, just I'm talking about historically, I've always kind of joked about RPG anymore. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I I mean, like, historically, like, going back from the 64, like, that's always kind of been my. My favorite of the two um, mm. games, you know? I think uh, Mario and Sonic RPG could be interesting. Let's do a Mario and Kirby I RPG. I that, actually. Mario and Mar- Sonic, Sonic RPG. Mario has a lot of villains that you could choose yeah, from. Yeah, he does. And he has a True. lot of teammates that you could choose from. An True. overwhelming yeah. amount of teammates. Yeah, uh, Sega's Rogue Gallery is pretty is pretty uh, legit. Which one? Uh, not say what I say. Sonic's Sonic, Sonic. Gallery is pretty legit because really Mario only really has like Bowser, and if you really want to go down to like uh, like uh, like like, like Super Mario Brothers two with freaking War, like nobody cares about that. Dude yeah, anymore. well, there's Wario, there's Waluigi. Yeah, they're still villains. Mm-hmm. 
Daisy is a, is and part Daisy of their enjoying their group. There. But it's, it's mainly she's, Bowser. She's a placeholder. Cuz like Sonic <laughs> Sonic has Robotnik obviously and then he has um I guess technically you could consider Shadow a bad guy. Hi. Uh, but then there's also Metal Sonic. Oh, is that what his name was? I can't remember. Yeah, Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic, the robot Sonic or whatever. He was badass. Mm -hmm. so, look, there's some options there. Uh, it'd be weird, though, having to slow down Sonic so much, though, to make it a yeah. Japanese RPG. That would be off-putting. Well, but I mean, unless his, his, his moveset... I mean, even though it would be turn-based, his moveset could still be speedy. Like, he just kind of, like, does a little speedy thing into the injury, enemies. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Or spin, or run or circles around the person, make them dizzy, and that causes some kind of damage or something. Ah, this one's <laughs> interesting. Uh, are the fuckboys hyping up Mario and Rabbids game remind you of the fuckboys that were hyping up Snake Pass? Yes. 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 Actually, I think Snake Pass is more egregious because that game is pure, absolute, unadulterated dog shit. I think the only reason why people are hyping up this Rabbids game is because Mario's in the title. Keep it, keep it, keep it real. But it's like a proper keep RPG it, keep game, it, though. Keep it 100%, man. Well, it's not even comparable. 100%. Like, why were people hyping up Snake Pass? Because there was because no was other game games, games on the Switch. There's no other game. Unreal the Engine 4 game, and like, there was no other game. But like, the reason no why people are hyping Switch, up this Rabbids that game, game was on is because every other Mario device. Is because and nobody Mario was talking about it. The only people talking about it were people on the Switch hyping it up because they were trying to make it seem like it's such a big accomplishment to have a twenty fucking dollar, uh, <laughs> twenty dollar game where you don't even jump as some sort of miracle game. People going as far as saying it's the second best game on the fucking Switch after Zelda. Who You're said that? No, you know what? Don't even, don't even tell. Don't even tell nope, me. No, nope, don't even say. Don't tell me who said if it. If I That's, told you, okay. you're gonna lose respect for him. So I won't say it because I know he's your friend. <laughs> tell me afterwards. I'll I want to know, after, but not but right okay. now. Uh, but yeah, that shit, like, those people who are hyping up Snike Pass should be ashamed of themselves telling people to go out and buy that shitty-ass game. Uh, so I like, don't like okay, I, I, do, I do legit think that the only reason why people care about the Rabbids game is because Mario's in the title. Well, obviously. I feel like, I feel like, like that the doesn't mean Rabbids is going like, to be a bad game, though. That's the only I, I hate to be one of those people because I, I talk, I've talked about these There's a lot before, of people that say that. Oh, you just want it because Mario's in Because there's Nintendo characters in the game. Like, <laughs> yeah. this, you mean that's like Hyrule real. Warriors? Like Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just like, like Hyrule, Hyrule Warriors. Warriors. That's the same thing. Yeah, and Hyrule Warriors turned out to be a good game. Yeah. And so, we're, so, and so maybe point? we'll wrap it. And, and Rabbids might be a good game, but that doesn't change the fact that people are only excited because it's Nintendo characters in the game. Yeah. Like if it was like a, if it was like a straight well, up Rabbids game, that. I I'm mean, not arguing not... that. I'm saying it's not the same as Snake Pass because Snake Pass right. is a bad game. Yeah. So we don't know what Rabbids is going to be if it's going to be reason, bad or not. The reason people are hyping up Snake Pass is there were no games. Yeah. So I don't. know <laughs> I don't, know I, don't, I, don't, I don't consider it the same because like this could be a good game snake pass is not a good game people were just doing that because it was all they had on the switch um see my i have a bias thing against the fucking rabbits they make me cringe and you hate mario. so it you know, well like, i hate mario but i would rather mario not be tainted by rabbits either like i have some respect for him still <laughs> so like my my thing is that i can hate mario and still respect the dude because he's getting money for nintendo and then you got these fucking filthy rabbits joining his crew and you got ubisoft trying to get some mario money like no bitch the fuck off stop <laughs> so i don't know it's, it's just funny but i don't think the game will be as bad as snake pass by any means, because it does have Mario. Nintendo's name again, on it, like, if you, and if it you're is one of those Mario there. So. That was hyping up Snake, Snake Pass. Shame on you! Shame on shame you on for you. misleading people. Shame on you. Shame. Uh, look, but, do you have any other uh, questions? Yeah. I don't have any more. All right, let me look through the chat real quick again. I didn't see anything myself. Uh, Might have missed something. They want me to say but. the person's name in the chat. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I guess that's it. There's no other questions here. You guys are light on the questions today. Oh, wait. Here's one. Uh, I don't know if I can say this one. We don't do fuckboy questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not even a question. Never mind. 
It was just some weird stuff. Uh, Mario and Sonic, two gaming icons, sports competition, who greenlit this idea? I don't know, man. Those Mario and Sonic Olympic games, who okayed that? Uh, I think they sell well, though, which is the saddest part. Okay. Who's getting that Splatoon Pro controller with the pink and green Joy-Con ends? I'm not going to lie. I might import that joint. Like, in Wait, what? In, who? There's a special Pro controller that has a green and pink ends and Splatoon designs on it. Oh, I have to but see this. I think this. it's only in Japan see. and Europe, though. I ain't important shit. <laughs> I guess that's it. I don't see any other questions here. Uh, I know. might import that Splatoon controller. That joint looks lit. Mm, I, I can't see. handle the green and pink. It's too much. If it <laughs> oh. was the same black one with the Splatoon designs, that would be a different story. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm looking at it right now. Eh, no, that's garbage. Sorry, fam. Can't do it. I'll just paint the ends. I mean, I have one. You just paint the ends. Done and done. Like, <laughs> I'm not even... No. Yeah, but it has, like, actual Splatoon designs. I don't give a damn. I'll just make my own designs. Like, I don't got time for that shit. Like, these things, oh, these things oh, cost... Here, I can't believe we haven't talked about this yet. Uh, it costs too you, much money. Do you expect Retro Studios to finally reveal their secret game at E3? What, yeah. Metroid? Nobody cares. It's not Metroid. They're making a reveal. <laughs> I think, I think that we're going to see Retro's project at E3. Because they've been wanting to show it for, like, a long time now, but they've been holding back. I think, I think we're going to see it this year. And start again after, um, after leaving the Wii U. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. But I'm sure we'll see no. it this year. It's been long enough. Yeah, Kelly and Mari, no, I don't like them. <laughs> they got on my last fucking nerve. Dirty. Yeah, they're annoying. Stay fresh! <laughs> Stay fresh! <laughs> like, every hour of the hour. Stay fresh! No, stop. That is one thing I want to go away. I hope I don't have to open that fucking game up this time oh, around and see there. them every five seconds. Like, well... Callie isn't available. Mari seems to be a thing of the past. It seems like they all. So hopefully we won't be seeing them on the freaking board screaming and hollering talking about stay fresh. I, I don't want to like, see. We see Donkey Kong. Like I would rather see Donkey Kong. I honestly wouldn't care. <laughs> you would rather see Donkey Kong than I, I, I would rather. I would rather hop on the game. I would rather see a Donkey Kong than Callie and Mari. Did you guys see that uh, fan made Switch commercial? No. It was whatever. That I don't think awesome. it was what everybody thought. It was kind of like whatever. Let me see if I can find out show these people. The only cool part was like the skydiving part. Yeah, that was cool. I like the whole Donkey Kong thing. Yeah. Uh, whatever. It was okay. It wasn't bad, but everybody's like, oh my god, this is better than all of Nintendo's existing. And like, no, it's not. It was, though. It's cool. It's not. It is. It's not. It's not. I'm sorry, it's not. It is. Oh, I think Nintendo took it down or something. Good, wonderful. Yeah, that's that's cool. I'm that okay. sounds about right. <laughs> Nintendo always takes shit down. Aha, I, I mean, found Nintendo it. Switch there it is. <laughs> Trey, man, I think we answered that question for you last week, homie. What? If COD would be revealed for the Switch at E3. Yeah, like, he yeah. Asked it last yeah week. we did. It definitely was. <laughs> but uh, that's probably the biggest AAA game you're going to get on that. This year, yeah. This year, I'm gonna tell y'all like this. Let me, let me put it to you. That's oh, shit. You're not gonna get a whole lot of Western third party games on the Switch this year. Like, just keep it, keep it real with yourself, okay? That's not they're happening wait, this year. They're playing the wait and see game right now, so you're not gonna see too much of them dropping, dropping their bombs until maybe next year when, if the Switch keeps, you know, going good as it is now, and it keeps uh, pushing forward, and Nintendo stops being too secretive about a lot of their shit. <laughs> Starts, you know. We're gonna see, we will see more, you know, Western third parties. But for the most part, you're gonna get a lot of um, Japanese third parties and all that good stuff. Because that's, that's where the money is right now. That's actually a... Yeah.
interesting concept. Yeah. Like a lot of horror logs. You call on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I guess we're done here. I don't have any more questions. Uh, you guys don't have any on your side, yeah? I have one more question, but I, it's not supposed to go. Like, we're reaching, like, two hours. All right. Halfway hours. We're gonna go. <laughs> so, for the last person that didn't get your question answered, it's not my fault. So, uh, <laughs> uh, we're out of here. Uh, we'll be back on next Tuesday, which is the normal day. Uh, we couldn't do it this Tuesday because I had to stay late for work. Uh, but yeah, Monday, Mario Kart 8 Monday Madness. Next week is uh, racing, because uh, the, the last one was battle mode, which I won, of course. Uh, so this time we'll be racing, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens in the world of Nintendo. I think by that time, uh, actually we can talk about ARMS. We'll have played ARMS at that point, so that's cool. Oh and my we'll God, be streaming yeah. ARMS, so look out for that. We'll be streaming Yay. ARMS uh, on this weekend, so turn out for that. Uh, copyright boys... Yeah, um, <laughs> you ain't getting, you ain't keeping yeah, your money no for money. Sure. You ain't getting no money this weekend. No Don't even money. You better, you better do that half an hour stream, fam. <laughs> well, it can only be an hour, anyways, right? Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, no I want you guys boy. to give your outros, and we'll get out of here. Um. Yeah. I'm coupon game diva. Uh, struggle streams. Oh, tomorrow I'm gonna be streaming. Um, thumper. Uh, you know, on the Switch. So I'm gonna stream that tomorrow. Oh, what time? So we'll be looking for that. Yeah. What time are you gonna stream? I have no clue. It'll be random. Yeah. Oh, I, I, probably, I don't have. So yeah, I don't have set time. People <laughs> who struggle you? don't have <laughs> don't have time frames. I don't have time <laughs> schedules. I just it just we just struggle along <laughs> whatever time. It'll oh, probably sorry. be noonish. Probably be noonish or something like that. So that's uh what. Central, yeah, yeah central. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I guess I'll give my intro. Um, what is up, everybody? It's your girl, Nia, the video game her. Thank you guys so much for coming through to Team Red Talks Nintendo on this lovely Wednesday. We had a lot of good discussion, good topics here. And I think one thing that I'm going to start doing since it's the summertime and I have just time to do stuff is um just kind of start splicing up each segment of our podcast and put them up as like individual videos like maybe you guys would like that maybe we'll see um so that's something i'll, I'll try to do for y'all um because i did get somebody ask me how come i don't make shorter videos anymore and it's because live streams are just easier now um but segments in this podcast might might be helpful um but I did want to give a couple of shout outs to the people in the stream. We did get up to like 23 people on my end. So I want to shout out to the people in the stream. Uh, shout outs to the homie Lightspeed Sonic for hosting, even though we're going to get up out of here. Um, shout outs to EJ Johnston, Rob with the beard, Paul Robinson. Uh, the homie Seeker was in here. Uh, Cherry Man videos. My boy Keith Noor is up in here. Future Francis. Um so thank you guys so much for stopping through participating in the chat giving us some um great questions to answer and i hope to see you guys and more cool question, next guys. week on tuesday cool question guys yeah don't forget about mario kart monday you know it's gonna be popping we're gonna be giving away um eShop points in our random giveaway so make sure you come through you don't have to win the race in order to win the prize all you have to do is participate and make sure you hang out in the stream because if we call your name and you ain't around, somebody's just gonna scoop your prize, okay? Gonna so somebody's gonna ghost you. Yeah, they're gonna yeah. get that boo item on get you a now. Out of nowhere. <laughs> so yeah, come through, man. We be having stuff going on every week, so come through. I'm gonna All get right. y'all gonna get couponed. And with that, <laughs> we're out of here. We'll see you this on is... uh, Arms Day when we're we're streaming with our arms. We'll be, yeah. Dead ass. And dead ass. Dead I'll be playing with Twin Tail only. I don't give a fuck. About I am any other only playing with Twin Tail too. <laughs> so yeah, look Actually, out for I'm that. And uh, yeah, that's it. We're out of here. So see you, people. Peace. Yes.